Hello, I'm Nir Melman. Over the last years, I'm really into acoustic guitar, playing and listening. And I'm always in a search of a desirable sound. I guess it comes from what I listen to, in the playing of guitarists like Bert Jansch, John Renborn and Nick Drake, who all played and picked mainly with their fingers. Not sure if calling this genre finger style is right, because they were all singer-songwriters, but also great guitarists and composers. So in this journey for the search of guitar and sound, I met a guitar builder who happens to live in the same city as I do, Be'er Sheva, Israel. His name is Avinoam Lasri. He builds really unique acoustic and classical guitars. This one here is called Palo, is the one you can see in most of my previous videos. I really like it because like a vintage guitar, it has very woody sound. Like you can really hear the wood. It sounds very big and has a lot of projection for a small bodied guitar. It's really light in weight and very comfortable to sit with on a chair or on the sofa and play. It's all made of solid woods. The back and sides are Palo Escrito, which is from Central America, from Mexico, and Mexican wood. It's actually a uh, rosewood and it has a nice sapwood which is this uh, white color. So this is the back and sides, Palo Escrito. The top is cedar, which is a northern wood. Most of the guitar have the darker wood for the back and sides and the brighter one for the top. The neck is made from mahogany. Yes, all solid mahogany. And the bridge and fretboard, fingerboard, is from ebony. And this plate here is Brazilian rosewood. Brazilian rosewood, yes. And it's all made in a traditional method, all by hand. The carving, the cutting, everything. Yeah, with saws and... Soundwise, I really connect to this guitar because of its projection and this great mid-range and great sustain and it's really responsive to my playing I think it's the cedar top that is really responsive I think that finding a guitar is really a great match when you have the instrument in your hand and you don't need much. The moment I took this guitar I said, okay, this is mine, because I had a lot of guitar to pick and to choose from. But when I reached to this one, I knew it is mine. Please comment and share what are your preferable guitar. Maybe share some video with a link. I will be happy to hear and listen. Um, that's it. See you next time. Oh, and subscribe. Please subscribe. Bye-bye.